yeah! What's up, guys? It's Kyle and AJ. Welcome is this the back. Cryo gun? Yes. Yes. Put oh, up that that's fire. right. We were. We oh, were, we were, oh no! We were defending Jonathan. Oh no! I thought we did this already. We might not have gotten the checkpoint though before. Yeah, before we turned it off. Oh well. Yeah, eh, it's okay. Oh yeah, and I got the freeze wave. Wave, whatever the fuck that does. Bam. So, so you said you had an interesting debate. Okay, so I was on Twitter because, by the way, I'm, I've learned how to Twitter. You've learned the. Tweets. I've learned how to tweet. Um, I I've never. Act I haven't actually tweeted. Um, okay. I just follow the kind of funny guys and Max Landis. Um, those are all. The that's all the only people I follow. Um, it's all but it's very interesting because Max Landis will get into de like not debates, but he'll talk about comics and stuff with people on. Oh Twitter. shit! Oh. And the debate about um, who would win in a fight, uh, Batman or Spider Man, came up. Huh. Okay. And it, just like gut level. Who, like, like in, let's just like someone were to ask you, Batman versus Spider Man, who would win? I'm okay now. Important question. Yes. Does has Batman known Spider Man before? Like, has he ever encountered him before? No. Or is this first time meeting? First time. First time. I'm inclined to say Spidey would win. Okay. Based on Spidey sense. Now, Spidey said, like, no, so someone brought that up about how, like, in the, in the comments, and I'll, mind you, I am paraphrasing all of this, right? Sure. So sure. I, except for when I'm going to read something in a little bit. Okay. Um, I'm paraphrasing all of this, mind you. So there's that. Uh, but I just want to make sure that that's out in the open right away. Um, someone asked about that and what about how, like, with Spidey sense, Batman would kind of sort of appear to be in slow motion. Right. Except, and then Max. And it's kind of countered with the fact that, like, well, that would also be true then for, like, Superman, and that doesn't really matter. You know, because every time he's fought Superman, you know, like, the fact that Spy Superman does technically, like, perceive time faster than, than Batman, he, he moves faster than Batman. So, by the same idea, Batman would be moving in slow motion as well. But my argument there, too, is, oh, Satan, that's the level we're on. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Um, my argument is Batman's known superman for a while yes he's encountered him before he's dealt with him he knows what makes him tick that's why he's able to beat him when he fights him like it's little he, little he knows enough about yeah. him he's a detective he knows his weaknesses i, I just want to man i am tired of of the of the bat god thing like not no oh not, no, no no i, oh, I like I, like that in, in any argument well batman's always more prepared and it's like damn it which is why the, the comics that are out right now, the detective comics and Batman, yeah, he's kind of been getting his ass kicked in both of them, which is kind of good, kind of cool because it makes him more interesting to me. Like, like how is he going to get out of this situation, rather than oh he's had a plan for this the whole time, right. which is fine. I'm just I'm I'm that's not the Batman I want right now. You know what I mean? Like that's so I'm glad they're going with a different take on Batman right now. If that right. makes any sense. Yeah. No, I I completely agree. Um, I I I've always. And been annoyed when people when you try to have an argue uh, a, who would win in a fight argument and they yeah Batman would win always every time because I it's not necessarily true and the reason no. like in this case I'm my argument is the fact that uh, I don't think just be I'm trying trying to think of how to word it well so Max yeah, be Landis, careful be careful with this <laughs> so so Max Landis's point of you know well Superman you know you could use the same argument for Superman yes but at the same time. Uh, Batman has dealt with Superman, as I was, as I mentioned, where he's never dealt with Spider-Man before, and I feel like Spider-Man's Spidey sense works differently than the way Superman. Pers D am I making sense? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes like, sense. Like to a like, I don't know. I now, what I want to read for you though, okay, is I, and this is what I found most interesting about um, his exchange about this on Twitter was that. Um, so you know that that upgrade I got? Yeah. My like air blast can now freeze them. That's what that does. Freeze wave. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting. Anyway. Anyways, so Landis takes this in a different direction than I would have thought. Okay. And he kind of recontextualizes the argument. Okay. And I thought it was a very interesting sure. little bit. So I'm gonna read something that he posted on his Twitter. Um. He says, Batman would probably easily defeat Spider-Man. Too many gadgets, 
too many countermeasures, and frankly, he's just going to out technique and outsmart him, which is true. Like Batman's smarter than than him. He's he's got more training. You know, like so. Okay, I mean, Pete's right. pretty smart. He, oh, for sure. I feel I mean, like he's being absolutely. sold short a no, little no. bit here. Even Spidey sense could be gotten around with with some bat planning. If let's say they fought and he had time to prepare, but Batman might not last a day in Spider-Man's New York. Spider-Man's villains are cut from an entirely different cloth than Batman's rogues gallery. Even a lesser Spider-Man villain like the Trapster would be a huge problem for Batman. Once Green Goblin or Doc Ock showed up, oh fuck, my phone froze. Uh, well, not froze, just. All right. Once Green Goblin or Doc Ock showed up, Batman's attempts to match oh, tech with tech and smarts with oh, smarts fuck. would be sorely lacking. Batman versus Hydro Man, Sandman, these are terrifying fights for an ultimately normal human going up against literal avatars of elements. Yeah. And Spider Man would fucking wipe the floor with Batman's rogues. Even the Joker would have a difficult time shaking Peter's attitude about villains and evil in general. Heavy hitters like Bane, Ra's al Ghul, and Deathstroke simply aren't prepared for Peter's style, powers, and outlook on life. It's funny to think about, but that's how it shakes out to me. That kinda, that is a very interesting right. It's a kind of a weird recontextualization. Like, I I I'm still not entirely sold that Batman would flat out beat Spidey, but I do kind of agree with the that the villain part. Yeah, right. Like, because now the argument isn't like who would win in a fight necessarily, but who could exist in the other person's uh, place. I, you know, I, like I if wish, you were just to swap them. Yeah, that is a very interesting succeed? way to think of it. Right. I, I wish more people would you know fight about that. Because, because, like, Batman wouldn't. He wouldn't be able to go up against Like, he couldn't fight Sandman. No. He couldn't. He wouldn't be, like, that Sandman is a very weird villain. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I, I oh, myself oh you made a horrible mistake. I fucked up. Oh, you're I was dead. supposed to go the other way, I think. That's um, a scary looking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. But, yeah, I just, I was, I was really interested by that. I thought that was a very, um,. Landis has a very interesting way of looking at things. Oh, absolutely. And but that, I, that's why he's one of my favorite people that, to yeah, follow online. he is online. very interesting to uh, listen to, like, his thoughts on stuff. And absolutely. That's, and that's why I wish I would have read American Alien. Oh, my. Have you, wait, have you not read any of it? I haven't read any of I it. Will, I will. I have. I mean, I can just get the trade when it comes out. Oh, sure, and, sure. Um, well, I mean, because, like, I'm going to be rebuying the trade. I bought all the issues. <laughs> I, I bought all the issues as they were coming out. And I, I will say, I think it, 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 is, it is as good. Oh, as all star, oh, as all star Superman. Did oh fuck! Oh god! Oh, oh god. man! Where do you go? I don't. I'm trying to remember. I know this was hard the first time I did it. I just can't remember where to go. Um, but yeah, like, like I would say, American Alien is as good as All Star Superman. I never even read All Star. You never read All Star. Oh, I don't Super read Superman at all. Oh my god! I, I don't uh, think I've ever read a Superman comic. I will. I will. I own Death of Superman that's, because DC was doing the. The the thing where you get the 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 movie with it, you you buy the the comic and you get the animated movie to okay. go with it. Yeah. So I got Superman Doomsday with Death of Superman. I haven't watched Doomsday either, but I've been meaning to watch. You know, read. Is he Death behind of you? Oh no no okay. I've been meaning to read you know read and watch, but I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, no dude, you got to read All Star Superman and then read. American Alien, I would say, personally. Oh, Although, what's really great about American Alien... Do you get more out of American Alien? No, but it's, it's because they're they're complete opposites oh, okay. in a lot of ways. Um, so, um, All-Star Superman, written by Grant Morrison, Frank Quiley, yeah. um, is kind of a, a story about... and like, Mind you, All-Star Superman, up until American Alien, I, and I would still hold them together, is my favorite Superman story. Okay. Um, because it is the Superman I define as, like, the Superman, in a way. Because... He is at his most powerful in All Star Superman. He he's 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 basically a god, okay. and the story is about how he's basically coming oh. to terms with the fact that he is. Oh oh oh! Run run run! Just go! No! You looked behind you. Why'd you I don't, do that? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. You're supposed though. to just go straight. But like I, the, you can't because there's a. Can you go underneath a it? pillar? But I need him to help me move him. The other guy. Oh, so maybe so you have to get there faster? I might need to just... Because there's a cavern that I had to run past. Mm. Or, or it looked like there was a cavern to the side, but then he was there. Why is this so fucking difficult? I don't like this. 
<laughs> the game stopped it's ceasing to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> just get us to more blappy blaps. Yeah, just let me shoot stuff. I just want to shoot things. But um, so he's at his most powerful in All-Star Superman, okay. I think right? I need to make it into this. And he's he's about to die. Order, yeah. In a lot of ways, um, and, well, he is quite literally about to die in that book. Um, however, in American Alien, it's exactly the opposite, where it, it's more of a weakest? it's more of a Clark Kent story than just a Superman story. Really? Where in All Star Superman, it's a, it's it's a Superman story, whereas American Alien is a Clark Kent story. Okay. Oh, because fuck. he actually doesn't even get the na the name or the suit or anything until I think issue four. In All Star or in, um, American, American Alien. Alien, okay. Because each issue, so like, there's seven issues, and each issue takes place at a different point in Clark Kent's life. So the first issue is when he's a kid and he's first learning he has powers. He's like, oh my god, I have, I have powers. What the fuck is this? The second issue, he's a teenager. He's getting into trouble. He's got issues. You know, like he gets into a fight. He like, it's a, it's a really violent issue. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of grim. You know. And then the third issue, uh, he's He's like a new kid, like not a kid, but he's like he's like a, a, a new adult. Um, he's just leaving Smallville for the first time on like this like vacation he won. It's actually okay. probably the, one of the best issues in the series because, and this isn't really a spoiling thing because it's right away in the beginning. I don't, and it, it's just every issue is just like it's. I would describe American Alien as magical <laughs> at times, magical. Okay. where every issue has a moment where you're like, holy fuck, that is fucking poetry, and like. In the third issue, he gets mistaken. He, 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 he's on a plane to go to like this, this island or something. I can't remember the exact details. But he, he crashes. Because he won, he won this vacation in a raffle. He crashes, though, on the pl in the plane uh, on the way to the vacation mm -hmm. right next to this boat. Everyone thinks it's Bruce Wayne because it's a Bruce Wayne party boat. And Clark Kent is mistaken as Bruce Wayne. And it's just about him being on this boat with a bunch of rich people. Oliver Queen's there. And, nice. And he's just like partying. And like, but like. It, it, it's more than that, though. Like, it, it talks about, like, life and growing up and, like, feeling like you're trapped in your hometown and wanting to leave. And, like, it's just, it's, it's incredible. Like, the themes of these issues are just so good. And then, like, each issue, but, like, and then, like, issue four, he's in Metropolis for the first time. Issue five, he's kind of, like, becoming Superman. Issue six, like, like, like each issue goes further and further and further along the timeline until issue seven, when he's finally, like, he's Superman. But he's only Superman once he's done something in issue seven. I don't want to. Like, have, do you know who he fights in issue seven? Like, I do don't you know, know who he fights. Okay, I don't want to spoil it for you Is because it it's Doomsday? fucking awesome. No, it's not Doomsday. Oh Doomsday's nowhere near this, and it's prop. And honestly, that's a good thing. Max Landis was very conscious about. Um, I don't know if you watched a lot of his stuff on YouTube. Ah, this is just going to be like an episode of me jerking off Max Landis. Um, we just like to jerk people off. It's on true. This channel. It's totally true. I'm just, I'm just into it, I guess. I don't know. But um, he did a pitch video about what he would do in a Superman story, and that kind of got him the attention to do the issues. So if okay. you watch that pitch video, you can kind of get a feel for what he's going to do in the Superman story he's going to tell in American Alien. Yeah. And at one point, he talks about how like if he's going to make an American, like if he's going to make a Superman story, he's going to have like there's going to be a fight, and it's the most fucking balls out, bloody, violent fight Superman's ever been into, and he does it in issue seven. But it's not against somebody you'd think, and it's 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 because they're both of equal strength. And this Superman, mind you, he's Zod? a little. No, no, no. I don't want to spoil it for you because it's so cool, and it's like you wouldn't expect it at all. Is it somebody I'll recognize? You will absolutely recognize him. You will absolutely know who okay. he is. Like I don't even want to describe him because you're gonna be like, holy fuck, him! And like it's just like you wouldn't expect it. I, and I imagine it's not gonna be Lex because that. Well, be there's a really great couple of moments where Lex goes on these monologues in the series where he's just like, like at one point he like, like, like Clark is just like threatening him, and he's like, what? If what are you gonna do about it? You and <laughs> what evidence? Oh my god, you're a moron! <laughs> and like he's That's like beautiful. telling him, it's so dude, you 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 would love this story. Like I'm, it's I, it sounds it's a, it's really a must good. read. Like I, it, it's a book that you can hand to somebody who isn't even a fan of comics, and they they would enjoy it. Okay. Like that's how cool this book is. And I am a fan of comics, so I'll you probably are. get a big kick out of it. Where's some of that? Uh, tape I did a lot this. of talking right there. That's all right. It's okay. We're trying to like beat this guy. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, he, he did that was Jaws style. Do you know what? Uh, oh, oh, he's got oh. The tentacles. Oh no! Oh I know god! I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> me with his. <laughs> oh, or he's gonna bring the building down. 
Oh man. Oh, 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 oh. Is this ammo? What is that? Is... Oh, 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 he's in your face. Oh god. Oh god. Suck a dick. Oh. Did he eat it? Maybe not. Oh, I guess I gotta got damage him a bit. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I stick it in there. Stick it in. Stick it in. What the fuck? Grab it. Grab it, you piece oh. of shit. It's like Jaws. Boom! Oh, you son of a bitch. Boom. That's right. That's what they said in Jaws. You know what else is said in Jaws? See you next time. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Well, they did make, make you... like three of those, didn't they? Yeah, they made like three or four even, I think. <laughs> Christ. I think one's in 3D even. Probably. Yeah. Or 4D. 4D. If, 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 the, if the Jaws from uh, Back to the Future 2 was canon. Yes, true. <laughs> All right, so we're going to end this real fast so we can get back to the uh, cutscene real quick. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe on the Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all that fun jazz. Bye. Pray for us. Bye.